Map maker number one. Looking up at the skies, he wonders how the universe is born and if it dies. To map the universe would be for him excitingly nice. He says that the floating earth is our home and we need to know it as we roam. How his students Pythagoras and Agathias ask if one is to travel the world alone. By having a world map, he answered, so the traveler will not get lost in a city stop, a forest top, or a desert lap. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this map maker is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Anaximander, a philosopher, astronomer, and cartographer, he is the first to publish a world map. Map maker number two. He tells his teacher, Anaximander, that his world map is great, but it can be improved to make it first rate. But first, he travels around the ancient world to know its lands and peoples in more than a word. He then describes these lands and peoples in a big book, which Herodotus the historian reads in a nook. And of course, this big book comes with an improved, more detailed world map for everyone to learn as they look. From the letters of blue, can you guess who this map maker is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Hecataeus of Miletus, a historian and geographer, to improve the world map of Anaximander. Map maker number three. As chief navy admiral of the ruler of Egypt, Ptolemy II, he roams the sea freely. He visits all harbors and lands as far as the eyes can see. He then makes a map of these lands, but he says that maps have little use if you don't know the north, south, east and west of your views. So he adds in his map a compass rose so that you will not get lost in zigzag mazes far or close. He explains that the 12 winds in the compass rose can tell not only the weather, but also the directions to happy travelers everywhere. From the letters in blue, can you guess who this map maker is from the ancient who's who? Introducing Timosthenes of Rhodes, a navigator and geographer, he is the first to use the winds for geographic orientation.